Hello everyone, how are you today? Today we're starting the first lesson in chapter 14. Chapter 14 is all about geometry. The first lesson, of course, it's a hands-on lesson. It will be about angles. Because it's a hands-on lesson, I want you to prepare an index card or any paper in a box shape because we will be using it in today's lesson. Open page 833 and let's first go through our vocabulary words. We will start with the first vocabulary word, which is an angle. What is an angle? An angle is made when two rays share the same end point. Here, this is the end point. This is one ray and that's another ray and they together form an angle this red box is the angle our second vocabulary word is array what is array array is a part of a line that has one end point this is one end point and it extends in one direction without ending so here we have two rays this ray extend or is extending upwards and this ray is extending to the right it starts from one end point and it goes without ending our third vocabulary word is the end point what is an end point an end point is the point at the beginning of the array. We said the array has one end point and it goes without ending. So what is an end point? It's the beginning of array. The vertex is the shared end point. So here we have two rays, this ray and this ray. Both of them are sharing this end point so we call this endpoint the vertex. Why do we call this the vertex? Because it's a shared endpoint. Now let's explore angles. Here we're going to use this geo board in order to explore angles. I want you now to get your index card and you have the picture in your book in page 833 and let's explore together. When we put the index card to compare one angle formed by two sides here we put the index card to compare this angle of the square in the geo board formed by two sides it's formed by this side and this side an angle that forms a square corner is called a right angle so that's our fifth vocabulary word what is a right angle it's an angle that is formed by a square corner look it's exactly the sides are exactly on the sides of the index card it's just like a square so this we call it a right angle do all four corners of a square form right angles yes all four corners of a square forms a right angle if you put the index card here you will it will fit exactly you will have a squared corner if you put it here you will also have a squared corner and here you will also have a squared corner so all the sides of a square has a right angle which is a square corner now turn the page and let's try another G board but this time it has a triangle again using the index card compare one angle formed by two sides of the triangle this angle is what it's less than a right angle it's not a right angle the sides of the triangle does not fit the index card it's not a squared corner it's less than a right angle now how many angles in this triangle are less than a right angle one two three three angles in this triangle are less than a right angle 
Let's try another shape. Let's take a look at this hexagon. Let's place our index card on two sides of the shape. And let's see. Look, the angle is far from the index card. So what does that mean? It means that it's greater than a right angle. It's not a right angle. It's not less than a right angle. It's greater than a right angle. Now, how many angles in this shape is greater than a right angle? Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six angles in this shape are greater than a right angle. Let's go to page 835 and solve the first two questions together and then you can go and solve the rest of the page by yourself. In this page, you need to tell whether each angle shown is a right angle, less than a right angle, or greater than a right angle use an index card if you want so if you think you need an index card to figure it out you can use an index card look at this starfish look at the angle here that's highlighted is this angle a right angle less than a right angle or greater than a right angle yes it's less than a right angle so we just try less than now in number four oh look at this beautiful angle it looks like what it looks like a square so a squared corner is a yes it's a right angle a squared corner is a right angle now go do the rest by yourself and send it to me on class dojo and don't forget your kahoot